Hi developers, my name is Jeff and I'm a software engineer working on open source at Google. I'm Alpha and I'm a labs developer at Pivotal. I hope your Cloud Foundry series is going great so far. You and I are going to spend the next few episodes talking about Cloud Foundry and Stackdriver. Stackdriver is Google's suite of logging, monitoring, and developer tools. I'm going to be joined by experts who know way more than I do about Cloud Foundry and Stackdriver. So Alpha. Can you give us a little background about how Cloud Foundry is deployed? Sure thing, Jeff. Cloud Foundry is made up of many services that run on an on-prem data center or the VM infrastructure of a cloud host, such as Google Cloud Platform. These services are deployed as jobs by Bosch to several VMs, and together they form a working Cloud Foundry. So we've got all these applications uh, that must be doing tons of logging in addition to Linux services logging to syslog. How can an operator make sense of all that? It's a great question. Every Bosch job writes logs to a known location on the instance, so an operator can use the Bosch CLI to grab a recent set of logs or stream them as they come in. This is fantastic for initial setup, but operators really need to set up a long-term solution for monitoring and storing logs. That's why we work together with Pivotal to develop the Stack Driver Tools Bosch release. This drop-in solution gives operators long-term access to this information in Stack Driver logging and monitoring. We work together in Seattle using the Pivotal process. We co-located once a week in our office and once a week in yours. And together, we developed the Stackdriver nozzle tooling that enables Cloud Foundry to talk to Stackdriver. We did this all out in the open. And it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Now hear me out. We had a lot of folks who knew about Bosch, a couple of folks who knew about Cloud Foundry, and Go, and a little bit of GCP, of course, but not a lot of overlap. By pair programming, we were able to spread that knowledge across, and we all came out with a much better understanding of each other's products. So Alpha, can you pair with me and show me how to set up Stackdriver tools on Cloud Foundry? Let's get to it. First, let's upload a Stackdriver tools release to our Bosch director from our open source project hosted on GitHub. Now, we'll have to modify our deployment manifest to include the release. The two jobs, Google Fluent D and Stackdriver Agent, will need to be co-located on the instances that you want monitored. After that, we'll have to run Bosch Deploy as usual. In recent versions of Bosch, we should be able to deploy this as an add-on. Wow, that's the fastest Bosch Deploy that's ever happened. Editing's a real miracle. It might take a few minutes on your machine. So now that we've got jobs running across our Cloud Foundry, which means our host logs and metrics should appear in Stackdriver, let's make our data a little more interesting by waiting a week or so. Wow, that went by fast. Great, let's dive in. As the logs stream in, we can view and drill down to specific events. These logs include all the syslog output from the instances in our deployment, as well as the logs from any other Bosch jobs on the instance. Each entry contains context, including the job name, which allows operators to easily filter and search through logs. All of these logs come from the Google Fluent D job that we deployed earlier. As for the Stackdriver agent, that's responsible for gathering host metrics with CollectD and sending them back to Stackdriver monitoring. I'm going to hop into Stackdriver monitoring, and we can now see detailed information about our Cloud Foundry infrastructure. Let's take a look at the dashboard I created earlier. The dashboard shows metrics gathered by the agent. Now we can look for abnormalities and set up alerting thresholds, such as high memory usage. This is a great start to having a single pane of glass for a CF operator. These deployments are made up of tons of virtual machines, so having a heartbeat like this is a great thing to keep an eye on. Let's look at the log metrics we've created. This metric is based off an event appearing in the Stackdriver logs. We can drill into the actual log events where this occurred. This gives us a query in the Stackdriver logging console specific to our event and time range. I'm going to filter to our specific virtual machine and remove the event filter to gain some context. This is an incredibly useful tool for keeping an eye on your entire system and drilling down when something pops up. That's host monitoring with Stackdriver. And check out the description for more resources on integrating Cloud Foundry with Stackdriver. Thank you all for watching. Check out some more videos we've done about Stackdriver and Cloud Foundry, and check out our playlist for even more information. Make sure to subscribe to the Google Cloud channel right here.